Welcome everybody, this is Mike Hamilton for Trade the Easy Way and I'm going to keep this very, very short. This is the NASDAQ. It is very bullish. It is holding up, uh, not doing much. But we on Thursday, Friday, we have uh, the Fed Chair, the Fed in a two-day conference. And the outcome of that could be very interesting. Uh, any, well, the market will be looking for any chatter about interest rates because many people think that we've got at least one hit more interest rate this year. Uh, in the meantime, these markets are pretty flat during the typical quiet summer season, but holding up. So as long as we don't start closing under these levels in the market like uh, the NASDAQ, you know, a good leading indicator like the NASDAQ, as long as we can at least move sideways and obviously end of the week look to close higher, then these markets are staying bullish. This is a weekly chart of the euro and we had a, we've had a good four weeks out of this, all bar the second week in this, this four week period. And we have closed with a cross of the 20 and 50 EMA here on the on the weekly chart. So this looks higher. It looks as if we can test at least 115. So that would put us just above the Brexit high. So I would look to buy 112 and then see if that can push into this top of this channel. The top of the channel will put it up to 117. I think we could see, you know, this is beaten up since the drop from May 2014. I think we need at least a push close to this 200 EMA on the weekly chart there. If you look at the daily chart, you can see we're just hovering underneath this resistance. Uh, a shallow performance on Friday. What's going to be critical is, of course, uh, the US conference on Thursday, Friday. So the outcome of that is going to shape this. So if we come into the Brexit high at 113750, 114 area, we're going to have to close above that to warrant holding it. But on the face of it, this is a nice push. We've got, let me just get my pen, uh, one, two, three, so if we can hover around here and then close above this, we could potentially go to 115 and higher and come and retest um, yeah, this area right up here just above 114. Coming to this um, reversal area. Okay, let's look at the pound. Uh, you can see the drawings I've got here on the pound yen. So we, I think we are going to see some bullish moves. We've got... UK GDP, haven't we? When, when, have, we, when have we got that? Um, Friday, UK GDP. So that coincides with, of course, the um, US conference I've been talking about. It's called Jackson Hole, if you hear that um, mentioned or seen on some of these websites. So I think we are bottoming here. And you can see on my indicator at the bottom here, MACD, we are turning up pretty flat, but it's beginning to turn up here. Uh, you can see on the histogram there, we've just, just narrowly been underneath the uh, midline. To start, I think we're going to start to close above that. Um, and then potentially come and see this trend line here, at which point that's, that's the decider. Either we hold and start to run for the top of this channel, or we're going to resume the trend lower. And that point, that pivotal point is 135. I'm not trading on Monday. I am going to take it easy on Monday because um, it's my partner's birthday and it is a very, very quiet day on the data front. So join me for a very short 30 minutes on the Traders Around the Table. We'll look at all the key areas um, and stocks as well, stock sectors and indices and so on. Join me for that, but um, I'm not going to be around much on Monday and just looking forward to getting some pullbacks on the euro and the pound. Thanks for joining me and see you at the next update.